Um, and then I am going to read it with you. Translate, have a pencil and a ruler with you um, so that we can make notes um, as we as we go go along. I'm just going to change to the um, to the um, page now. And um, we start off with I'm just um, we start off with um, the vote to the eerste bedrijf, and that's what we saw um, when I started the presentation about the um, um, about the eerste bedrijf. So there is the vote to Neil. I see my marker is not working. Hold on one second. Technology is wonderful if it works. Uh, delete that one. Okay, let's go there. Right, let's start again. Okay, so it's the vote to Neil, and there's on's boss, and there is on's boss heis as well. Um, so Elias is bezig om van a steier af te klim. That is your um, uh, ladder. That's the ladder. In Miss is all dig om die toneel. So that is the setting that we've got. A man het net een lijf en die moet lang uitkom. Ek glo een goeie plan en een bikkie geluk. Al is geluk een skaarsting in hierdie bos. Baarta, bring vir my een bikkie koffie, ek is gedaan. Die mis is verachtig dik. Ja, ek sal ergens een paar ou sinkplate in die hande moet kry. Die kinders lei aan die snuif en hoes van die nattigheid in die huis. Elias says that he's got only one body and you need to live with this for a long time. He believes, hy gloe, so that's his belief system, so this is a um, karakterisering, on a Goeie plan in a bikkie geluk. But he says that's not what you're going to find in uh, the forest. Then he calls Barta and he says, please bring some cof coffee, ek is gedaan. But the fact is, is he really um, completely finished? Because he doesn't really work hard. Um, again, we get the emphasis on the um, dick, the Mrs. Dick. And again, his shortcut idea of a par o plate because the children, um, they suffer from coughing and sniffing. And sniffing. Right. Because of the natigheid, how wet it is in the forest. See all my notifications coming up. Wanneer um, Barta met die koffie kom, grijp hy vinnig. Now this is important, so Roop um, underline this. Because this is where he acts. He makes as if he is um, busy. He grabs the um, he grabs the bale and then he starts looking at it as if he's busy working with it. Elias, is Lucas dan nie hier by jou nie? Nee, sit maar die koffie daar op die blok nie. My hande is besig. Barta is um, worried. Um, that tells us, and she asks Elias if Lucas is with him. He answers no, and he says, oh, he doesn't even take the coffee. He just says, just put it on that piece of block there. Um, his hands... Um, are busy. Um, Barta off, so Barta leaves the stage and now Elias continues. Sy is nog mooi, maar sy is een moedskoene kry. Hmm, miskien moet ek ook Christian Smal van Lely Vleibosse oudste seun kry om te help met die bal balke so dat ek meer kan lewer. Maar dan weer het ek die sonde en die ergenis met bly plek vir die manneke. Ek moet voor en toe dink. Al manier waarop een man een behoorlijke extra in die bos kan bekom, is om een geweer te koop en olifante te skiet vir die tande. 
maar waar krijg ik geld voor een geweer en verkoos? En hoe kom jij bij die houtkappers op die dorp voorbij, tot bij die skippen om die handen te verkwanzel? Die skippen betaal die beste vee voor, maar volgens die houtkoopers het net hulle licens om aan die skippen te leven. So this is an important um, part that Ilya speaks about. First of all, um, remember that um, he now first says he wants to make more money. Um, and he needs to maybe ask Christian Small van Lili Flybos, eldest son, to come and help. But he always sees the negative in it. And here we get the answer in that he says, Ek het die sonde en die ergenis met die blijplek. Everything is a mission for Elias. Um, he does say that he needs to think ahead. Um, and this is where you need to now start underlining. He says, the only al manier, al manier, waarop een manier, a man een behoordelike extra, so how can you make extra money, is to buy a gun and to shoot elephants for their teeth. So when you answer this in the exam, you have to be careful that you do say, um, write all of these words. He has to buy a gun, one. Two, he wants to shoot an, uh, the grootvoete or the elephants. Interesting that he doesn't call them grootvoete here. I hope you notice. Um, for the tanda. You must say for the tanda because it's not for anything else. Right. And then he now thinks about what is he going to get? Uh, where is he going to get money for the geweer? So that is a gun. Um, in for cools. That's the bullets. All right. So that's his first problem. The second, so that is problem number one. So the second problem is the um, wood buyers, the guys that are buying the logs from the um, houtkappers. And they say that they have got licenses, like sense, um, to sell ivory to the um to the um to sell ivory right but now elias wants to get to directly to the ship so the hot corporate are middlemen um, and he doesn't want to go because obviously he wants to make more money and he wants to go directly to the ships um to to get the ivory Willem op. So Willem arrives on the scene. Pa, pa, Marcy Lucas is nie in die huis nie. Loop, kyk by Tant Mali, of hy nie daar is nie. En vee jou nie is. Um, so Willem comes up, and he says, Dad, Lucas, his mom says Lucas is not at home. And he says, go and look at Tant Mali. So we'll get to know this character a bit better later during the course of the scene. And he says, you must also wipe your nose. Willem goes off. As a man in die nacht, by tot by die skippe kan kom, en lever wat jy het. So he continues speaking to himself about his plan. Um, just to say that this is still onwettig. Uh, onwettig, and that means illegal. Willem is terug. Pa, Lucas is nie by Tant Mali nie. Het jy by Tant Anna gevra? Nee, pa. Nou moet, vir wat moet ek jou alles voorse? Ja, pa. And Willem goes off. Now let's also remember the age of um, Willem. Um, he is six. And his father expects him to now think of everything um, to um, try and find his brother. Right, so, and then they go to Tant Anna. Elias, a man sikkel tot sy kinders die dag groot genoeg is om te kan help, maar ek sal nog lang moet sikkel. Willem is maar 6, Christoffel 5, Lucas is 3, en Nina is nog aan die diet. So that means she's still being uh, breastfed. So that all the children are still very, um, are still small. There we've got them, all very small. Right, Bartok, 
kom soos een gedaante door die mis in. So hier is een vergelijking, een vergelijking, and it actually um, links um, with the whole setting, with this mist, this eerie um, feel um, that that is happening. She comes in like a ghost-like uh, being through the mist. Elias, what is it now, your fro? Can you not see that is bezig me? Um, and he rebukes her. He says, "What is it now? Oh, can't you see that I'm busy?" Was die kind nie hier by jou nie? Ek het jou mos gesê, hy was nie hier nie. Ek was by Sophie. Yep. There's my thing again. Let's just try that again. By Sophie. Um, hy is nie daar nie. Mali, Tant Gerkie en Sophie is nou op. So these are like the three three tannies that now come in the eerst tant Mali. Dit het my oorlee auntie achter in die Katara se bos oorgekom. Sy het gedink die kind is saam met die ander om te gaan vier uitkap. En so kom sy dit eerst die middag achter dat hy weg is. Meer as 'n week later het hulle die verkluimde liggaampie gekry. Ons is nog die dag begrafnis toe. Um so Tan Mali tells the story immediately as she comes about her uh, 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 aunt that had died um, in Katara Sabos. And um, she also had a similar thing where she thought the child had um, was with someone else and only in the afternoon that she realized he was gone. And for a week, they looked for him and then they found his verkloimde, his frozen body. Um, 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 and, he's, and they went to the... So she's a bit of a doom profeet. 